Sean McVay was saying that the best teams are player led teams. Is that correct? That is correct. He was saying that on the podcast that he started with uh, Peter Schrager recently. Great one. That was the one where Robert Sala was on there. Uh, yeah. That was a, a, a high quality podcast for sure. Great insights into into their beliefs. And he did. He said the player led teams were the best as opposed to a coach led team. And it got me to thinking of, are we a player led team this year? I feel like in 2019, we were. I feel like the personalities of, of Joe Staley and Uncle Sherm carried the offense yeah. and the defense. I agree with that. And then, in, point. and then last year, it, it felt like we lost that. There was a void in leadership. and Especially on offense. Especially on offense. I and think in defense. Fred Warner, I think Fred Warner kind of filled the void to an extent on defense. That's fair. I would. The only thing I would add to that is that I was hoping DeForest Buckner would be there to share that load. Oh, yeah. And the fact or that we Bosa. lost. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Those pieces, it, it made it feel as if we were lacking there. I would agree that it is important to give that shout out to Fred. Unbelievable how he stepped up last year. I mean, that dude has earned every dollar he is going to get paid when we pay him. But on offense, I don't see Jimmy as that guy. No. Also on defense, real quick, I feel like Jason Verrett and Jimmy Ward do a lot of leadership stuff. The Niners don't put him in front of the camera, the microphone very much. So it's, it's yeah. But I feel like, the players look up to them. They have a lot of – they're both 30. They're both very confident. They're both very good. I think those two are – there's a lot of player leadership on the defense. Mm. On the offense, it's kind of Kyle, man. So, so what you're saying there is that that leadership exists, but it may be behind the scenes. So it could be I think player-led. So. We're just not seeing that as much. Just because defense. like Jason Verrett doesn't talk as much in press conferences as Richard Sherman, that doesn't mean he's not leading the team in practice, in meetings, uh, all that stuff. Yeah. You know? Now, clearly, Kyle is somewhat capable of allowing for that leadership on the offensive side, the way in which it felt Staley was the elder statesman there. But do you see anyone on the current roster that really strikes you as the dude who's going to step up? I mean, I always feel like the closest thing they have to a leader on their offense is Kyle Juszczyk, but they don't use him oh, enough okay. to really empower him to have that kind of a voice. I mean, he, right. he doesn't even play 50% of the snaps. George Kittle is great. George Kittle it brings the energy. He's a great player. He's not exactly a leader in the classic sense, in my opinion. Um, no, he's a no. leader through the fact that he is a rock star, an all-star. He plays yes. so physically that that's yes. inspirational. Yes. But I agree. He has a bit too much personality he, he's not so okay what i saw in joe staley was the ability with the joe show to turn it on i, yeah. I feel like I, I saw some similarities in myself like i can act yeah. stupid i can yeah. bring out you know anyone who yeah. saw the, the the quarterback bride video that i did knows that i can act stupid but i also have a serious side and joe could flex back and forth between those two so yes. nicely so yes. it was so nice yes. with, with george it doesn't it seems like he's all one way right and, and that's so, great and that's it's it's very he's very energetic. The energy rubs off, but yeah. not the classic leader. No. And usually on offense, the leader is the quarterback. But Jimmy ain't that, or hasn't been. And you've called out for Trent Williams as you see it. If I understand you correctly, it's yeah. a bit of the like he's a hired gun, almost like a yeah. Deion Sanders when he came in in '94. I remember watching him run around the exterior of of Candlestick before the games. He was by himself. It was a very solitary thing that he did. He jogged the entire field. And it just, you could tell that he was a hired gun that had been brought in. You could tell that he wasn't really in the team as a part of the team. And then when he left the next season, it was like, oh, I guess, I guess you could have saw that coming if you really paid attention. And for Trent Williams, potentially after getting paid, that changes. But it sure did seem like he was very businesslike and, and not necessarily the leader in the locker room. Yeah. So I feel like... Robert Sala did a very good job of cultivating those those leaders in on defense because, as Sean McVay said, it's imperative. Uh, Bill Walsh did the same thing. Has Kyle done that on offense? No, but maybe he will with Trey Lance. Maybe Trey Lance is that guy. Right. He certainly yeah. he certainly appears to have it, and that's important. McGlinchey wants have to, to have it. Answer. McGlinchey yeah. tries. He just needs to play better. He could. He just needs to play better. He has the personality to do it, no doubt. But you do yeah. have to back that up with your play. And I, right. I think if he has that bounce back season, it could be him. It could be him. Uh, Juszczyk, McGlinchey, Trey Lance, um, Aaron Banks. Aaron, uh, Offensive linemen, often, they're, they're smart. They see the whole, they, the whole yeah. picture. Um, 
if he's good, it could be, but he's a rookie. He's not going to be Aaron Banks anytime soon. So. No, probably not. No. And if it's the, if it's Lance, the sooner the better.